Welcome to another video walk around. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2017 Ford F-150 Lariat Super Crew with the EcoBoost engine. This 4x4 truck has plenty of room for five passengers and is ready to take on any and all obstacles. This truck also comes accident free. Taking a look at some of the notable exterior features starting with the massive chrome grill that looks fantastic in combination with the chrome bumper and the fog lights as well as the LED headlights. You'll also notice this truck currently rides on these 20 inch American racing rims, which look fantastic. Moving along the side, you'll notice this side step, as well as the chrome accents down the side. You'll also notice this vehicle has rear tint in order to keep that additional privacy for the rear passengers. And you'll notice that that continues in the rear window as well. Moving along to the back of the truck, you'll notice that this truck also has the rear bumper in that nice chrome, as well as a hitch and a tonneau cover. This truck looks absolutely fantastic, especially in this great white color. Before we even hop inside this truck, there's some notable things to tell you about the key fob. This key fob does come with remote start as well as a button to drop the tailgate. Of course, you've also got your lock and unlock as well as the alarm button. This vehicle does come equipped with a smart key system. So simply walk up with the key on your person and put your hand on the door to unlock the vehicle. Though you could also unlock the vehicle with this number pad here. And to lock the vehicle, you simply hit that button there. But as you can see, walk up and you're inside. You're greeted with this lovely black leather interior with a nice white stitching, these perforated leather seats for the heated and cooling features. You've also got the power adjustments for the driver's seat, including the power adjustable lumbar support, and the same adjustments can be found on the passenger seat. You've got these great all-weather mats as well, and it's really the little details in this truck that make it so special, including the F-150 badging on this vent here. Inside this F-150 Lariat, you will find a host of features, starting with the engine start stop button. Simply put your foot on the brake and push the button to start the vehicle. Push the button again to turn the vehicle off. And this vehicle also comes equipped with the auto start stop feature, which will turn the vehicle off whenever you're stopped for a long period of time in order to preserve fuel. Take a look at the door panel here. You have this lovely wood grain finish as well as the nice chrome accents which looks fantastic just above that you've got the controls for the power windows as well as the power mirrors you've also got the power fold in mirrors so simply hit that button and the mirrors will fold in and hit that button again and they will fold back out this is a super handy feature to have when you're parking the truck in tight spaces just below that you've got the controls for the power locks as well as the memory settings for the driver's seat and to the left of the steering wheel here you have the buttons to toggle on and off the lights on the mirrors and just below that you've got the controls for the fog lights as well as the light in the bed and you've also got the controls for the automatic headlights as well as the dimmer switch for the gauge cluster just below that you've got the adjustments for the pedals these are power adjustable pedals that you can bring forward and back with this button right here Take a look at the steering wheel on the left side here. You have the cruise control buttons just below and on top you've got the navigation buttons which scroll through this multimedia display here in the center of the gauge cluster. This is where you can find all kinds of relevant information including the trip, you can track your kilometers. You've also got the fuel economy, fuel history, the navigation slash compass and the auto start stop feature that I mentioned earlier. Just to the right of that, you have the truck information, you have the gauge selection. As you can see, there are some digital gauges displaying above this multimedia display. You've also got the tire pressure, the digital speedometer, the engine information, and the my key status. To the right, you have the towing features, which includes the towing status, towing information, the trailer light status, trailer setup, and the connection checklist. This is really, really handy when you are looking to hook up and tow something. To the right, you have the off-road uh, status, as well as the power distribution, which can be really handy depending on the type of terrain that you are driving on. And to the right, you've also got the settings for the safety features, including the automatic high beams, the blind spot monitoring, the cross traffic alert, the trailer settings, as well as the driver alert, the rear park aid, the lane keep assist, and more. You'll also notice that this vehicle currently has 67,550 kilometers on it. And looking back at the steering wheel on the right side here, you have the audio controls. And just below that, you also have the controls for the Bluetooth hands-free calling as well as the voice recognition. 
Taking a look to the right of the steering wheel, you have the drive mode selector. This is where you can change from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive. And just below that, you've also got the trailer backup, uh, which is a really handy feature to have. You can see that this is, brings up the Pro Trailer Backup Assist. If you hit that button again, it will bring it back to the main screen. You can adjust the knob here as well to help back the trailer up. Just below that, you've got the trailer brake feature and you can adjust that right here. As you can see, this will bring up the trailer brake gain. Taking a look in the center here, you've got the traction control button as well as the hazard lights. And this is also where you can turn on and off the auto start stop feature. You've also got this button here, which will bring up the backup camera as well as the bird's eye view, which is a really, really handy feature to have in a truck this big. And cycling through, you'll also see a variety of different views depending on what you are looking to do. Once you cycle all the way through, it will bring back the infotainment system. And speaking of the infotainment system, this is where you can access all of your apps, including the Bluetooth audio, uh, the AM FM system, as well as the climate controls, which can be accessed through here. You also have your full screen navigation, which is a really handy feature. And you've also got additional apps, including the Bluetooth that I mentioned earlier, as well as mobile apps that you can connect to and the Sirius Travel Link. You can also find some additional settings here, including the mobile apps, general, uh, the Wi-Fi, vehicle settings, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as valet mode and ambient lighting. Just below that, you've got the tactile buttons to control the audio system if you don't want to control it through the infotainment system, which is really handy to have when you're all driving and you don't want to look at the screen. Just below that, you've got the dual zone climate controls. And you've also got the three-stage heated and cooled seats for both the passenger and the driver to make any and all drives comfortable. You'll also find this lovely wood grain finish on this little compartment, which is concealing a storage cubby, as well as two USB ports to charge your phone or plug it in a device. Taking a look at the shift knob here, just to the right of that, you've got the cup holders. And just below the shift knob, you've got the lane departure alert button to toggle that on and off. To the right of the center console here, you've got the 12 volt outlet as well as the AC outlet, which is really handy. Just to the right of that, you've also got this nice wood grain finish as well as the leather wrap dash and the glove box just below that. You've also got these great all weather mats that make it nice and easy to clean. And on the passenger side door, you can also see that same wood grain finish as well as the power locks and the power window controls. Taking a look in the center here, you've got this massive center console, which has tons of storage as well as a light to make it easy to view what's in there. And just above, you've also got the controls for the panoramic roof that this vehicle comes equipped with, which looks fantastic. And it extends all the way down the truck for those sunny days. And on the sun visor here, you've also got the buttons to control the garage door, which are programmable. Inside the rear of this truck, you'll find more of that same luxury that we found in the front, starting with the great black leather interior with that same white accent stitching and that perforated leather in the middle, which looks incredible. You've also got this all weather mat that extends all the way across the back seat, which makes it nice and easy to clean. And on the door panel, you've got that same wood grain finish with the nice chrome accents. You've also got the switch for the power window. In the door card here, you've also got some room for some additional storage, as well as a cup holder right here. These seats do fold up in a 60-40 split. There's a latch just under the seat, which you can fold up to give you some additional cargo space. You can also fold down the headrest here with this button, and that'll drop right down for you. To fold it back, simply grab this latch here and the seat folds right back down. In the back here, you've also got this really handy console for the rear passengers, which folds down and in the center, you can pop that out for some additional drink storage. In the back here, you will also find this vehicle does come with the 12 volt outlet as well as an AC outlet and two USB ports in the back for charging. You've also got two stage heated rear seats, which is a fantastic feature. 
popping out of this truck and moving along to the back. You notice that tunnel cover that I mentioned earlier. And a really great feature with this truck is that it's got the soft close or the soft open tailgate. So you simply hit that button and then it'll pop right open. And like I said, there's a button on the key fob here that you can also hit to open that up. That concludes this short video walk around of this 2017 Ford F-150, but this truck is absolutely loaded with features and there's lots I didn't get to show you. So make sure you stop by Kelowna Toyota located at 1200 Lead Head Road or visit us online at kelownatoyota.com for more information. We look forward to seeing you soon.